I really hope that all the families understand. I'm just looking for the love of my life. Hometowns are officially here. We are breaking down the trailer for next week's episode of The Bachelor. Hey everyone, welcome back to another shared news. The end of Zach's season of The Bachelor is coming near. Before we get into this next trailer for hometown dates next week, if you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on our Bachelor Nation updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan Wright. Today, joined by Kayla Thompson. Kayla, we're down to the final four. Charity, Gabby, Katie, and Ariel. Before we break down the trailer, who are your front runners? Who are you vibing with? Any future bachelorette predictions? How are we feeling going into hometowns? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Well, first of all, Morgan, it's great to see you. I missed you. You too. Um, I miss you but too. I'm feeling... <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm ready for the season to kind of come to a close. Not in like a bad way, just in like, okay, you know, this week the relationships definitely sped up, got deeper, you know, now we're meeting families. Okay, now it's for real. This this is like getting serious. Um, I think the standouts, front runners for me, my final two are still Katie and Gabby. Um, mm -hmm. I just, yeah, there's just something about those two. I'm just like, yeah, there's no, there's no way they're not final two. But I think my favorite and who I think could be the Bachelorette because it might have been spoiled is Charity. <laughs> Charity continues to be my girl. We've been saying it from the beginning. She is the it girl. Yep. She just has all the qualities that I think make a good Bachelorette, including what we saw this past week or last night was just her vulnerability and her being in a space where she's like, I'm still healing and growing. And that's something where we mm. can watch her on a journey to like, find love and really be invested in her. So I think she's my favorite because of that. But also I think she'd make a love my girl. And here. she's so beautiful even when she's crying, which oh like if gosh. you're going to be a bachelorette, you're <laughs> yes. going to cry a lot. So we might as well have a good crier Very on true. our hands. And Charity, <laughs> she just nails it every single time. Um, okay, let's it's go ahead so and true. jump into next week's trailer. We're going to break it down clip by clip because we know it's hometown week. And drama, of course, will ensue. So let's watch clip one. It's hometown week, baby. It's a bachelor doubleheader. Monday and Tuesday. First, it's time to meet the family. Okay, everything's happy-go-lucky here. But I have to be <laughs> completely honest with you. And Kayla, you and I were talking about mm. this right before we jumped on this panel. I thought the last episode mm. was so painfully boring that when we got to this part of the episode and yep. they said Monday and Tuesday night, I was like, no, <laughs> like, I know that we <laughs> always have the double header. I know like this is not new information because obviously we have right. the hometowns and then we have the women tell all. But I was just like, mm four hours mm. of Bachelor content <laughs> that we have to get through next week. I don't know. I don't I know. know. Any any thoughts yeah. from this first little clip? I know it's short. Yeah, I mean, I had the same feeling. I was like, what are they, what are they showing me on Tuesday? What? <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting though, because I'm like, do they not have enough like weeks with ABC that they had to like tack on the Women Tell All um, behind next week's episode? I'm not mad at it though, because a whole week seems to be wasted to me on the Tell Alls. Like, yeah. I don't really think I need to wait a whole week just to, you know, watch the tell all. So I'm not mad at it, but yeah, four hours. I'm like, Ooh, um, but yeah, I think, you know, I'm excited to see Gabby though. I think, like I said, she's one of my front runners. So I'm not remember where she's from Vermont, I think. So it should be like a little fall vibe to see her hometown. So, but yeah, I feel like there's yeah, more she's coming in the, She's killing the hooju at this point in time, which if you don't know is a bachelor slang yeah. term for the hug jump, you know, where they always yeah. run and wrap their legs around each other. So Good job, Gabby. Nice. Okay, let's move on to clip number, <laughs> clip number two. I really hope that all the families understand. I'm just looking for the love of my life. My brother is so protective. There was a lot of hard hitting. Okay, so in this clip, we're just seeing, you know, Zach in each of the women's hometowns. We see the cowboy boots in the back with Katie. And then Ariel's the first one where we get a little bit more in depth of what her hometown date is actually going to look like. Um, you know, she has a very protective brother. So I want to actually watch that clip next, and then we'll get into the conversations about these tough questions. Questions that I was personally asked, so I can't imagine things from Zach's side. Do you know my sister's middle name? What's my sister's birthday? 
Okay, my question from this little <sighs> teaser, and I know they like to trick us. But do you think Zach actually knows the answer to any of those questions about Ariel? No, no No, freaking way does he know these (laughs) questions. That's why I'm trying not to die laughing because I'm like, dang, like these are the simplest questions that I know there's no way, you know, because like the way that they're so surfaced on this show, sometimes I'm like, even what we were saying, I was telling you about this before we recorded was like him and Katie are on that, you know, last night's date. And he's like, you know, tell me like random things like your favorite color. And I'm like, y'all haven't yeah. like said any of that stuff yet. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, it's week seven. How do you not know her middle name or her birthday? So I, I mean, if he does, he might, I don't know, but I'm guessing <laughs> he definitely doesn't. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a tough, tough hometown for him. I, I hope he's prepared because they're, they're not going to let him up easy. Yeah. I mean, especially when you consider the fact, too, that Ariel was kind of a dark horse until, you know, the last couple of weeks. We She didn't really right. get a lot of screen right. in the beginning. She just got her one-on-one date. I would say probably of all the women, I mean, obviously, we don't know because there's a lot that we don't see. But it feels like he probably mm-hmm. knows Ariel the least. Or, uh, I would agree. you know, they just haven't had the same amount of time as everybody else, or at least it's been presented to us that way. But Ariel's family isn't the right. only family grilling Zach. Um, let's meet Charity's family next. Um, Zach talked about being in love with you. As a brother, I'm overprotective of my sister because she deserves the best. Where are you with the other one? Where are you with- The grilling continues. We get Charity and her dad. <laughs> we get Charity and her brother. We see her crying and still mm-hmm. looking beautiful, as we said earlier in this panel. Uh, my question is because every lead gets this question, probably four different times. Mm-hmm. Where are you with the mm-hmm. other women? Like he always gets asked that yep. question. And my thought is, how does Zach answer that question truthfully without mm-hmm. A, being disingenuous or B, rubbing somebody the wrong way? Like. Do you almost feel like this is a yeah. wasted question when it comes to the hometown dates? Because what is he supposed to say? Mm-hmm. No, it's such a great point, Mo. It's like, they, you're right. They ask it every year, every season, the lead bachelorettes and bachelors alike. And I think what I've found with the leads who answer it the best is that they don't actually answer the question, but they reassure the parent or the family member by saying, Hey, here's exactly Mm. how I feel about your kid or about your, you know, sibling. And yeah, you know, this is where I'm at with my feelings with them. And then they also kind of explain a little bit of how it works where it's like, I just separate each relationship is that's the standalone relationship that I focus on at one at a time. I don't really compare, you know, it's kind of like the gist of what they like to say. So hopefully Zach takes from, some of the other leads and pieces something together. But I think he's shown so far to be able to express himself and be honest at the same time. So I think he'll, you know, I mean, he knows that hometowns is coming up. He's not, it's not a surprise that he's, you know, I'm sure he's prepared enough to be able to yeah. answer something like this, but it's still, it's still, still a tough question, of course, because you can't really. He's had way too many FaceTime really conversations <laughs> with Sean Lowe to drop the ball now exactly. at hometown. Like, come on, Sean, give him the playbook for your hometown (laughs) dates. Now, this scene right here might be a fake out from producers because we've seen Charity in this outfit before. So we're trying to piece together. We've Mm -hmm. seen her in this outfit in different trailers. So we're trying to piece together in this moment. Who is she talking to? Is she talking to her family members? Is she talking to Zach? Um, What is your take on on this green, yellow dress that we've been seeing in some of the other trailers. No, I, you know me, I remember, I remember everything about a trailer (laughs) of, yeah, this, this specific shot, I think actually was even kind of mirrored on the other side to to fake us out potentially, but she was the same shot of her crying and she was saying, I'm just so terrified that it's not going to be me. Um, And so we were then we were, you know, breaking it down. Could it be the family? Zach, I think. I think it's probably the family. I think just with how we saw her speak to Zach about her struggles and her insecurities last on last night's episode, I think she's aware that Zach, Zach, you know, you don't want to 
tell Zach that you're unsure about him. You know what I mean? Like, or you're unsure about mm. their relationship. So I think she's probably just expressing to her family member, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm scared to get hurt. Um, which she said yeah. as much to Zach before. So, but I don't think it's anything of a breakup right now. I don't know. I feel like Charity and Zach really have a strong connection. Even in the clip earlier with her Huju, they seem pretty <laughs> like, I don't know. It looked like a good hooju. Like they kind of have some good chemistry. I don't know. Zach is really confident about her. Um, Mm -hmm. So I don't see him breaking up with her like in the middle of the hometown. I think if anything, it'll she'll make it to the rose ceremony. So yeah, to me, it's the talking to the family. Well, Charity is not the only one who potentially has some doubts. We see um, Gabby get emotional in this next clip as well. Let's take a look. I'm ready to tell Zach I love him, but think you might be falling in love with Katie okay so this is interesting for a couple of different reasons Mm -hmm. so this is the first time when it comes to Gabby or any of the women that were hearing I'm starting to fall in love right um so it's kind of making it seem like Gabby wants to tell him but she's feeling a little reserved do you think that that's why she's crying in this moment or is she crying because, you know, she's also talked about her insecurities this past episode, about mm-hmm. how she's really in her head. Mm-hmm. What do you think when it comes to Gabby? What's going on here? Yeah, um, I do think she's emotional about something else. Just the way that Zach is consoling her. Usually I think when people get a little like they're tussling between am I going to say something? Am I not? It's it's less of like a weepy, I have a tissue crying. It's more of like, you just kind of, you you know, you can see in their face there's an inner struggle. And then you hear in the ITM, you know, what they're mm. talking about. And the right. lead is kind of just looking at them like, what's, are you going to tell me? Like, you know, they know that this is the <laughs> moment outside the house to tell me you're falling for me. Yep. Um, so this seems like to me something else, actually. I don't think it's about uh, even her ADHD and things that she's talked about with her neurodivergence. I think it could be something else that maybe has to do with her family that we're not aware of quite yet. So I'm actually, I'm also, I'm very interested in this, this whole situation and what's happening here. So I guess we'll just have to see for next week, but that's my guess. And the other thing in this little clip that I think is really interesting is, is Katie's mom uh, say you might be falling in love with Katie, which to me makes it feel like Zach kind of initiates that, right? Because she's like, oh, you might be falling mm. in love with Katie. Yeah. So do you oh, think that maybe see. this is Zach telling, you know, the answer to that question, right? Like, where are you with the other women? Or how do you feel about my daughter? And he mm-hmm. could say something along the lines of, I'm starting to fall in love with her. And then mom comes back and says, you might be falling in love with Katie. Do you see that for mm-hmm. these two? I mean, we <laughs> we agree that Gabby and Katie are the front runners here, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think he's probably, I can see Zach being similar to, um, well, let me say this. I think Zach saw Clayton season and was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to do what that dude did. <laughs> you know, bless him and mm-hmm. whatever, but I'm going to do something completely different. So I could see him being more of like, uh, I guess Katie Thurston and just like, I'm not going to say I love you to multiple people. I'm going to choose one person. Um, yeah. That's kind of my read on Zach. So with that being said, he's probably going to, yeah, tiptoe around using the L word, even falling in love with the families for sure, just to not, like, yeah, not to, to kind of take one, take one step forward and then take it back by saying, I'm in love with your kid yeah. and then being like, oh, never mind. I chose someone else, you know? So I feel yeah. like, yeah, he might put his, put his foot in his mouth a little bit because of that, because he's kind of like riding the line. And Katie being the firecracker that she is, I can see her mom probably is the same and is calling him out on it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot of like dodging that Zach's going to have to do next week. But um, I think he'll be able to still reassure the parents enough because, yeah, Katie's yeah. making it to final two. We we already know. <laughs> <laughs> and so we know that Zach has got to be extra careful coming into the hometown mm-hmm. week. But we also see in this last clip that he's also approaching fantasy suites in the same way where he's kind of teetering mm-hmm. on the line. And he says, you know, n- no sex in the fantasy suites. But then we get s- We got something happen. We don't really know what. So let's take a look at this last clip and then we'll discuss. 
intentional, but no sex. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Zach and I are going to have a really sexy job. I really f***ed it up. I'm so confused. Okay. Very interesting. So <laughs> we start the clip with him saying no sex. And then somebody says, Zach and I are going to have a really sexy time. Do you have any mm -hmm. guess as to who said that? Because I honestly can't tell. I've narrowed it down. <sighs> like hearing it again, I feel like I'm narrowing it down to be either Charity or Katie. I don't think it's Charity, though. I think because I can't hear Charity saying something like that, but I can totally right. hear Katie saying something like that. And it sounds like her voice. Doesn't sound like Gabby. Yeah. Gabby's voice is a little higher pitched. And Ariel's voice is super sultry. And I don't know. Yeah, so I, I feel like it's Katie. Because again, like we said, I, you know, we think she's making it to final two. So yeah. definitely going to fantasy suites. But what's throwing me off is her, the clip of her crying. Like what could mm. Katie be crying about, you know, moving forward? Yeah. I don't. I'm curious. Maybe it is like they did have sexy time and then, you know, it didn't uh, yeah. pan out well when they weren't maybe supposed something to or Zach feels happened. like they weren't supposed to. I don't know. There's something yeah. going on. Yeah. Something happens because he says, and it might not be like, you know, that he actually does end up hooking up with one of the other women in the fantasy suite date, but he does say things that kind of make us raise our eyebrows right like at the end he says mm -hmm. it was a beautiful moment that feels like it was robbed you know so that kind of feels like yeah he could be insinuating that something happened and the drama that overshadowed it kind of took away from the moment he says i messed up he says mm -hmm. a different word that we can't say on the shared news youtube channel so i mean we're getting all of these clues <laughs> that something bad happens mm -hmm. on fantasy suite week mm -hmm. we've seen little other trailers of katie crying in the jungle somewhere yeah. so it appears that maybe she is on the receiving end of something bad that happens i don't mm -hmm. know do you have any final predictions you. yeah about anything that's going to happen by the end of the season? <laughs> okay, with what you just said, I think a lot of times the drama, oh, the most dramatic thing ever is about to happen is usually, like, not even that serious. So I don't <laughs> think it'll be anything devastating with, like, Katie being upset or crying. I think, if anything, maybe what they are, I think, bringing back this season, I don't remember if they did it, they do it during Clayton season. I think they did where, you know, they make them fantasy suites. They're all in the same space and they come back from the dates and it's making them all nervous when they're like, how'd it go? Mm -hmm. Because this season, Morgan, these girls were doing that already. Like, yeah. Oh my God, girl, I'm so happy for you. Oh, that is so, oh, and I'm just like, yeah, y'all, <laughs> you on. know, your feelings are hurt right now. Come on. Like, you know, you are struggling and they go in the ITM and they cry. So there's no yep. way that the, like the fantasy suite is definitely they're going to make those girls be there, you know, anticipating for Gabby to come back from her fantasy suite. So maybe Katie is upset about that. Who knows? And, you know, they're all going to be upset. Um, but, yeah, I think, you know, my final predictions are those two things. And then also um, I think for who's making it to final three is really stumping me because, like you just said earlier, I think that Zach's least connection is with Ariel just because she's late in the game. But also I could see Charity not making it to Fantasy Suites because I think her and Zach have more of a friendship, like best friends connection mm -hmm. than like a sexual connection. Mm -hmm. So Zach might, you know, be deciding between, you know, between that, I guess. So I'm intrigued yeah. to see how hometowns go. Um, also with, you know, us potentially seeing maybe Charity could be the next Bachelorette. She goes home. They could, they could air that on Tuesday night. You know what I mean? For the women to all. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm having a lot of thoughts. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> no, but I mean, we have <laughs> seen them like switch things up, you know, as of late where, uh, not so much this season, but like you said, you know, they'll start the episode on Monday night. And then when they have it back to back on a Tuesday night, they'll leave us at a little bit of a cliffhanger that will finish on Tuesday night that will then go into the women tell all. So that could be how mm -hmm. maybe 
Charity makes her way out or who knows. Um, One thing I will say is that I feel like in the most recent weeks, all the trailers have really been missed directs like i i used to be able to Mm. so clearly read a trailer and be like this happens this happens Mm. this happens but i feel like they're throwing us more curveballs they're leaving things out so who knows what is going to happen but we're gonna find out in the next (laughs) coming weeks because we are getting to the end of this thing you guys let us know any comment thought opinion you have on what we can expect for hometowns. If you want to do a final rose prediction, if you want to do a bachelorette prediction, we love to hear all of your thoughts and your comments and your opinions. So leave one in the comments section below before you go. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell. So you never miss out on our bachelor updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan, Wright. I was joined today by the wonderful Kayla Thompson. Both of our social (laughs) media handles are on the screen. Now, if you want to come give us a follow and we will see you back here next time. Bye everyone.